Well, hello, hello, General Hospital Daily Recap fans. Today's Daily Recap is for Thursday, July the 6th, 2023. Thursday, July the 6th. Well, guess what? They're trying to get to the bottom of, of the whole deception. Who leaked those files? Who leaked the files? And uh, finally, Brooklyn finally comes clean because Tracy is pretty, not Tracy, Lucy is pretty much just accusing Maxie and Maxie was snapping back, right? Because Maxie doesn't work for Lucy. They're co-owners of it. And so uh, finally Brooklyn says, I did it. I was downloading it so that I could familiarize myself with the product so that I could do a social media campaign about it. And she says, I didn't think there was anything wrong, that I did anything wrong. And Lucy says, what part of secure shared drive files that you don't have access to, that you didn't know? If you could have access, that you couldn't download or could or couldn't download them? You know, she goes, uh, no, 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 you knew. This is serious. And so Maxie's like, look, she made a mistake. She knows now. Crisis averted, right? Lucy goes, okay, fine, fine. She goes, it'll never happen again. She goes, give me the flash drive. And Brooklyn's like, wait, huh? What? She goes, hand it over. She goes, it's at home. And they're like, you take top secret documents on a flash drive and you take it home? Lucy's like, you go get it right now. Go get it right now. So she takes off. She's searching, searching for Tracy. Tracy is baiting Martin at the poolside for some strange reason. It's funny. I don't know. Is Tracy trying to see how much he had to do with it? I don't understand the Trace, Tracy the Martin, Tracy Martin angle. Do they know Martin has something to do with stealing the proprietary information? And he gave it to Lucy because she out and out said, are you still seeing Lucy Coe? And he's like, Lucy Coe's the love of my life, right? And so, because she was saying, I got a proposition for you. And he goes, no, no, oh, no, 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 no. I said, I'm with dear Lucy. <laughs> so she goes no you're standing in for valentine or you're valentine's proxy for elq meaning you get to make decisions in his place so i want you to come to the annual elq picnic i think that's where ava got yep yeah, that's where ava got hooked last summer because that was the first annual last summer. This is, so then it wasn't annual. That was the first one. This is annual. And so he goes, well, okay. And she goes, bring Lucy. Well, then in that case, we'll be there. So in that case, we'll be there. With <laughs> his little fake accent. But it's better than my fake accent. So anyway, um, Brooklyn comes up to her. Granny, we got to talk. We got to talk. Finn and Violet come up cute little Violet with that long, long, super long hair, right? And Violet wanted a, a Shirley Temple, but she wanted it from the pool side. So daddy's obliging, right? So Tracy goes, Brooklyn, why don't you take her over to the bar and get her her Shirley Temple? So she, Violet goes to Tracy and she goes, hello, Miss Tracy or Miss Quartermain. And she goes, May I give you a hug? She goes, Daddy says I must ask permission first. And Tracy goes, why, yes, you can give me a hug. And she goes, and thank you so much for asking for permission. And she hugged him. Oh, Violet, come on. There's very few that melt Tracy's little heart. She had to feel bad for Leo in order for her to be civil to him. <laughs> so anyway... Brooklyn takes her over to get her Shirley Temple and she stays with her. And Finn tells her his Elizabeth problem, right? Now, mind you, Elizabeth's still in the, the locker room 
uh, the you know the little doctor's room, doctor nurse room, where guess who's back? Looking good too, Terry Randolph. She's back, so she's talking to Elizabeth. Oh, you need you and Finn need to just really talk about your feelings. Yeah, but I don't want to deal with them anymore. This time last year, Elizabeth was starting to go to her, go through her situation and was pushing Finn. Out. It's like those two, you either together or you're not. Period. And and I just don't even want to hear about e either of them talk about each other at all. So Terry, who by the way, I'm like, finally, and she got beeped away for to have to deal with the patient. So she does still see patients, even though she's chief of staff. Um, but she's back on the scene for today. We probably won't see her for another three, four months, but we saw her today. So I had to take a little snip picture of that, right? So after Finn, Violet and Brooklyn come back over to where Tracy and Finn were talking and he goes, well, where's the Shirley Temple? She's like, oh, I, I finished that already. And he goes, well, she goes, yeah, and it was good. So they, uh, Tracy goes, can I um, borrow her, my grandma, can I borrow my grandmother um, for a time? Because I need to talk to her. And so uh, he goes, yeah, yeah, sure. So she goes over um, and she tells her, Granny, we got a problem. They, you know, their IT let them know the files were downloaded and I had to admit it was me. And so they want the flash drive back. Or they're going to be all over you. <laughs> really and it's all over it's going to be all over Brooklyn but so she goes oh, okay so she reaches in her purse now mind you guess who's walking up alongside Sasha is walking up behind and she sees Tracy handing Brooklyn the flash drive but Tracy like Brooklyn reaches for it Tracy <laughs> snatches it back <laughs> and then she gives it to her and they walk away and I thought, see, that's what happens when you do things in public like that. That's exactly what happens. You didn't look, you took it out your purse, but you didn't look around, even though all Sasha saw was Tracy handing Brooklyn a flash drive. But see, now when Sasha gets back to deception, she's going to hear that Brooklyn was the one who downloaded sensitive files, secret company proprietary files onto a flash drive. She's going to connect those dots. Normally, a flash drive means nothing. But when Sasha goes back to the office, she's going to know. And she's going to also know, no, Brooklyn gave that flash drive to her grandmother for a reason. But wasn't it interesting? Was it just me, everybody? Or was Lucy extra, extra worried about, she said, competitors stealing the deceptor idea? Right? Now, yes, ultimately you don't want the whole schematics and perspectives out on, out on any any of your your products, but I could have sworn didn't they didn't they patent that, right? But look, Lucy knows that Deceptor wasn't hers, so she definitely didn't want doesn't want anything to get out because she didn't think of the idea. So it's gonna get good. It's gonna get really good about. Whose product is that really? Who does it belong to? But it's interesting that they make Sasha see it. See, is this now going to add more to her stress? So she's going to be popping more. I'm just, I don't want to see her spiral downhill yet again, everybody. Yet again, I'm not going to like that whatsoever. Because I've just seen enough of poor Sasha. You know, just get the raw end of every deal. So then we have Molly. Molly had a date with the Gay Davis girls. Sam is there. She's just behind at the other manicure desk station. 
And Molly is not being Molly. Molly's in a nice little cute little up the mini skirt dress ready to she came in with champagne you know we're gonna tear up the town and christina was being christina they made christina so obnoxious get trying to get to the bottom of it and so molly does has to finally confess up to them you know what happened with her eggs and they're not viable and so now she'll net she won't be able to have a child and so they were you know comforting her but she stormed out because Christina pretty much pried it out of her and then she storms out and so Sam and Alexis and Christina's like oh, see now I look like the worst sister ever and blah 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 and they're like no you know we didn't we didn't know I mean we need to know so we can be here to help her with stuff like this but you got to be more tactful Chrissy right so Molly came back in and she actually apologized to them for storming out. She says, it's just a sensitive subject for me. She says, and you know what? Tonight, I just wanted to be with you all and forget about it. I just wanted to have fun and just forget that, I've got, that I'm never going to be a mother. And so Sam's like, wait a minute, uh, Molly, there's, there's some options for you and TJ. Right? And she goes, I know, but you know what? I'm so tired of dealing with this. I've told TJ, I want to table discussions of us having a child. I just want to have fun. I want to get back to me. You know, I want to, I just want to be, I want to be the old me and I want to have fun. But Christina's like, yeah, but the old Molly wouldn't have no fun like that. This is me. This is the kind of fun I would have. You know, <laughs> so right. So Molly just looks. She goes, "No, no, let's let's go. Look, come on, are you uh, are the Davis girls with me?" So yeah, they're like, "Yes, we're gonna all go to, um, what's the name of that place? To Curtis's spot. Anyway, I don't know why the name of the club is eluding me. I'll think of it in a hot minute. Right? Uh, it'll come to me. Savoy. Then we're going to the Savoy." So meanwhile, at the Savoy, TJ, Curtis is there talking to Marshall. Marshall's trying to convince Curtis to come home because he's like, you and Portia are not going to work on your relationship with you not coming home, right? You have to be able to be in the same room with your son, right? So TJ comes in with a look on his face and they're like, uh, what's going on, TJ? You look like you... You need to talk. So he sits down and he pulls out his phone. He goes, I got a few minutes. And, and, and he goes, a few minutes for what? Molly and, and her sisters and her mother are supposed to be coming here. And I got to leave before they get here because I don't want to get in her way. And Curtis looked at him and says, since when have you ever been in Molly's way? Because, you know, Molly and, and TJ are just the, the couple, the love couple, right? And I wish they would have left them that way. So um, he go, then Curtis, I mean, TJ tells him everything that's happening. And he says, he feels Molly's pushing him away. And he doesn't know if they're going to be able, little burp there, sorry. If they're going to be able to withstand that, right? He said, because she's starting to act not like herself. And they said, what do you mean? He goes, she has a very important case. It's important for her career. She turned it over to a colleague. And then she got up and said she didn't feel like going to work and she called in sick. And Marshall said, uh, people do do that sometimes, son. And he goes, not Molly. Molly doesn't call in sick, right? Molly doesn't turn over important cases for her. You know, Molly, mm -mm. So he's worried. And they, they said, look, give her space. This is earth. I mean, this is life-changing news for her. Yes, it affects you too in your relationship. 
but this is regarding something she personally is going through with her body. She's got to deal with the disappointment, right? And so they, and so either Marshall or Curtis said, you know, TJ, how do you feel about kids? He goes, I wanted kids with Molly. And I told her there's a, other alternatives, you know, because bottom line, they're like, because, you know, how do you feel about not having any biological children of your own? And he didn't really say, you know, he goes, I mean, it's disappointing. But realistically, look, if they go through surrogacy, it could be his biological child, right? It, it really could. They can do artificial insemination. But you then watch Molly would have a problem that is TJ's child and not her child. And then it would be yada, yada, yada. You know, we'll see. So what? I don't know. We'll see how they're going to work that out. We'll see how they're going to work that out. They've played this this uh, fertility storyline so much on soaps that, yeah, okay. We don't know which way it's going to go, but it's going to go some way, right? Um, <clears throat> so anyway, that's it. Nothing else really happened on GH. Let's go to Comic Corner because guess what, everybody? We have way too many comments today on Comic Corner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my timer, my timer for 10 minutes. And I'm going to just breeze through these comments until 10 minutes is up. And I'm going to do them at random. So I think I'm going to start in the middle, in the middle, and then go, you know, back and forth. Um, and then Anita says, very sad regarding Sasha taking one of the pills she was given. I was hoping she would go to the pharmacy and check out the pills. Deborah says, I do hope Diane comes up with a plan to help Carly. Nina will get, will get back with Willow and then it'll all be in vain. Because then Willow's going to find out that it was Nina that sent Drew to jail. I mean, that put Drew in jail uh, with her feud against Carly, wondering how she was, and then she's comma, wondering how Lisa, Lisa will take the news. I know because Drew saved her. I hope Drew doesn't get hurt or caught with a weapon. I'm wondering why Cyrus gave that to him. I know I'm wondering too. It could go both ways. One to protect him or one to set him up. But I don't think Cyrus has the need to set him up. Hmm. We'll see. Um, is he trying to get him in trouble or is he trying to help him because he helped Spencer and Laura with derailing Victor? I know he could be doing it because he did say help his sister and saved his nephew. Uh, Cody is not helping Sasha at this point. He's the only he is only enabling Gladys to hurt her. I know. I believe that, too. He's better. He better open his mouth and expose Gladys. Tell Sonny. Um, Cinda says a hot topic for comments right now are Spencer, Esme, and Trina's situation. That is a hot topic. I have to think about that. Uh, Lisa says uh, Sasha's psych doctor is too buddy buddy. Uh, they will they will be caught already. Suspicions with Kobe already suspicious with Cody and Gladys arguing and Sasha uh, had to, Selena had to resolve their problem and referee to keep them from fighting. And that was all Gladys's lies about Cody stealing the stupid bracelet. You said necklace, uh, Lisa, but it's bracelet. And Jane says, Drew Kane is Erica Kane's son. <laughs> no, it's not Erica Kane's son. That's funny. Lisa says, that shiv that Silas gave Drew is probably attached to a murder in the prison. Well, if it was, look, that person would have been dead before Drew got there, right? So they would know Drew didn't do it. Uh, Lisa says, I can't believe that nobody has seen this doctor and Gladys talking behind Sasha's back. Lisa says, the actress who was playing the nurse, Claire, was a recast of Alexis. She looked familiar. You know what? I do remember Alexis being recast a long time ago, right? I don't necessarily like, I didn't necessarily like Claire as Alexis. Um, wondering why she urged Willow to get closer to Nina. Um, I thought Nina hired her, uh, but she doesn't seem so. No, no, it doesn't seem so. Maybe she's Harmony's sister. No, I just think she's a nice person trying to bring family together. I mean, 
you know, uh, Lisa says Gladys made a call to make sure that he gave uh, those gave her those pills. Gladys now will say Sasha got the pills herself. I know. I kind of think Gladys will end up taking the label off and saying she found pills in Sasha because Sasha's going to start acting funny, right? And it's not going to go well. And I'm, I'm not looking forward to seeing that story and unveil. I'm not everybody. Lisa says, give a list of topics you are familiar with and let us vote on them. That's a good idea, Lisa. Uh, that way they're not top topics you're unfamiliar with. That is a good idea. Uh, Lisa says, I don't know why Sasha started taking the pills very quickly. She kept saying she felt she could handle things on her own. Hello there says, um, I agree. It's alarming that she took pills so quickly. However, I had a feeling this Dr. Montague is really a federal agent working with Mac to scoop in on both Gladys and Wu. Well, he wouldn't give uh, pills and that doctor is very comfortable around, you know, people know he's a doctor at that hospital. Uh, Kevin Max friend is probably in on the whole thing and give authorization for a federal agent to give Sasha um, placebos just to call Gladys's bluff. That's wishful thinking. Hello there. That is some wishful thinking. I could just tell this doctor was sleazy because guess knows he knows Selena. There's just something not right about it. But you know, we all said we were surprised Sasha took the pill so quickly. Well, I mean, that's just like, you know, an alcoholic. You leave a open bottle of tequila, you know, and they're they're pretty much new to their sobriety and they're going through some nervousness and some shaky times. You, you you know, depending on how strong their will is, they will take a drink. And that's just the truth, you know. Jane says, I like you being, oh, you like me imitating Felicia. <laughs> Grumpy grandpa. <laughs> Lisa says, Martin is everyone's attorney, someone's attorney in Pine Valley. He gave very confidential information to Lucy. Yes, he did. Um, Lisa says, Diane said, no money trail from Sonny or the family. No, that's like Sonny just writing pay, writing a check, paying it off. But child support, court order child support is different. Charlie's not getting, Carly's not getting any child support she's entitled to, nor is she getting any alimony. These are things that she is entitled to. So that's not like a getting a loan from him or him giving her money. That's something he's obligated to do if it's decided on by a judge in court, right? But we'll see what Diane comes up with. Um, and then Lisa says, uh, it's so funny, Felicia bringing Martin's garbage into the room. Your impression of Felicia is so funny. That big strip with the name on it, LOL, I know. The shredder just missed all that, right? Lucy said, my favorite part with uh, General Hospital Daily Recap channel is Comment Corner. Oh, okay. Your idea about a special topic for Comment Corner would be fun. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna do this. July is, goodness, going. So I'm going to try to get it done by the end of this month. I'll put something out, out there. We're going to just have some fun with it. Um. I would have to see how I would do it. I would do it. I would announce it separate as a special segment. And I would give the topic that we're going to do on Comment Corner. And then I would just come in and, and we would, we would, I would read your comments on that topic. That's probably how I'll do it. Okay. So we have Lisa says, this hopefully doesn't drag out to the after the summer, Nina needs to be caught and Gladys needs to be stopped. I was wonder, I wonder what plan Diane has for Carly to get $5 million. So now let me go back to the top because I've only got two more minutes. Uh, Dacia says, Gladys is leaving GH. She might get killed off. Miss Wu might take out Gladys. That'll be interesting. Juanita says, I, lo I would love to see Susan Lucci. Um, that would be the icing on the cake for General Hospital. I would love to see that too. Juanita also says, I love Diane. She plays her part very well. 
Catherine says she never worked for anyone. Uh, for She never worked for anything. She's always latched on to men with money. You're talking about Carly. Yeah, it could be true. Right, could be true. Yeah. When she latched on to Jason, because remember she was with Jason before Sonny. Jason didn't have any money. He was an employee. And then Catherine also said the pills are very addictive because you said the, the medical name for them or the pharmaceutical name, benzazepines, and I know I butchered that, are addictive. Uh, Big Rich says it's opioids, not the prescription. Uh, and Gladys paid the doctor to do that. Remember, the doctor said, I can help you out of that situation, right? Hmm, I don't know. I don't know. So I think that's, oh, here we go. No, these are some more. Hello, Daily Recap Lady. Great review and recap. I can't wait for Nina to get hers. Um, and now it's going to be even sweeter. But I am wondering, after everything comes out, will the writers keep her on the canvas? Ron says, Gladys um, is in so much trouble at this time, they will end up snitching on each other. Tracy doesn't think her greed will get Brooklyn into trouble um, as anyone else that goes against her plan, as well as anyone else that goes with her plan. Diane has uh, the whole card in place for Carly. She better pay attention. I hope so. And I am says Bobby lives in Carly's mansion house she had with Jax. So that is it for Comic Corner, everybody. That is it. Thank you so much. That timer does help because I was able to get quite a few of them in there. So I'll be back tomorrow for Cliffhanger Friday. But guess what? May not be so cliffhanger. Uh, we'll see what's happening in, in uh, Port Charles tomorrow. And I'll be back for another daily recap.